Hello guys, this is Angga Rizky and welcome back to my video In this video, you will be able to learn about how to create the button for loud more Okay, so we will create a function using jQuery and the purpose is to load more another contents using static data okay so check it out all right guys so you need to prepare the html css and jquery library I'm using the jQuery version is 3.1.0 Okay You can using jQuery from uh, jQuery.com Okay guys So the first thing we need to do is create the markup using HTML Okay Now I will create the wrap and inside of wrap we have the box okay inside of box we have create a text for contents one and we can copy the box okay like this i'm going to six box right here you can change the every text to be your number like one two three four and five then six okay we can save it and preview like this okay this and now we move into our spell.css okay so body margin zero and the padding zero and the font family is Arial. Okay. And next we create the class wrap margin 100 and overflow hidden and width is 600 and give the margin auto like this. Okay. And inside of wrap, we have the box, and we can declare of properties right here, like a width is. I will create uh, one hundred and fifty, and the x is. Sorry, guys. Uh, I will create using a padding. Maybe padding is. 50 and we have the background blue and now we will create a float left and the margin is 10 pixel okay then we can save and preview like this okay and I will change the color of text is white color is white okay like this case okay well the next steps we will create the button right here for load more okay so i will create the button inside of wrap right here i will create a button and you can give the wrap button and inside of wrap button we have the like this and ready is load more content okay sorry guys it's mistake from for a uh, declaration so we just need to click load and capital case right here okay and the next I will give the class for CSS I will give the class is btn okay 
and you can give the label is load more we save it then preview select this and then we're going to work but we're going to story.css and give the work button is margin auto we save it and preview okay and width is uh sorry guys auto and on floor is hidden oh this problem and the width is okay it's enough okay oh i need to make sure the lot more is to be center so i can give the lot more button is okay this okay and instead of rock button we have the button which of class is battery and load okay so instead of rock button and we give the padding is 10 pixel and with a background color is I want to make it black so I can put the hex code is 20A, 20A, 20A like this and the padding okay so I will if the head is 20 pixel oh we have the problem right here so the button is not correct for padding and I will give the padding top Okay, this not happen. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I will give the width is and the head is like this. Um, okay, well, we will change this class and maybe you can remove the background and we just need. So change the color to be black okay like this and give the margin top is 50 wrap button okay and insert of wrap button we have the margin okay um, Okay guys, so I will put the wrap button outside from wrap, okay, right here, okay, right here, yes, so we need to make it clean, I guess, okay, like this, and when I click this button, it shall be to load another content for okay i will give you the example we have the content is seven h and nine and we can copy again for two eleven and twelve Save it and preview. Okay, like this. It's it's only a sample, guys. Okay. And when I click, I click this load more. The contents seven, eight, nine, and ten, and eleven and twelve. This will be uh sold. Okay. So we will load the content for. Sorry. We will load the content using jQuery, okay? I will remove it. 
and if the another class right here like a box hidden okay and maybe you can give the content plus right here and you can duplicate it for one two three four five it's enough we can do this okay right here this is the content okay we're going to style.css and we create a new class right here wrap box hidden and if this file is none we save it and click it okay so it's it's only uh, hidden the content from browser and we will give the fat in and fat out using jQuery okay so I will copy the code right here okay we have the code right here and I will make it clear for you okay guys so in this case we have the div like uh, elements html right here so we can change it we can change it using the box sorry box hidden okay and maybe you can give the class right here sorry okay and we only saw the box hidden for 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 elements okay so the button it's lot more right here and you can change it box hidden and you can copy like this and we can change the slash is true and we can save it and then we can try to preview okay this is not good and we can get the um okay wait this box even display on okay this not second oh sorry we don't need to click the gs right here you can look, include your gs right here and Refresh, okay. Like this, okay. Like this, okay. This is uh, not good because we need to copy again, duplicate again. Okay, we go into script.js, and when you refresh it, it's only showing the four elements because we have declared the slash zero, comma, and four. Maybe you need to change it to 6 like this and we can and when we try to load more another content it's only 2 because we declare it 2 and maybe you can change it to be 3 then you can save it and preview again like this like this like this and like this okay okay guys so congratulations you have to learn about using another content using uh, sorry you have to learn about how to click the button a lot more using jQuery and it's easy okay so if you have a question please let me know and don't forget to subscribe this channel I'm the risky Okay, guys, so nice to meet you from Indonesia. 
Goodbye.